you are now rocking with Calico Media Group, bitches. Yo, what's going on, man? It's Young Hefe, Cool Money Hefe, man. Report live in Studio 100. Let's get it. How did you get the name Hefe and where did it come from? Uh, I actually got the name Hefe when I was young, man. Like 14, 15, you know what I'm saying? Just growing up in the streets. You know what I mean? And it came about as a street name, you know what I'm saying? You know, everybody got their nickname and grew up with it. You know what I'm saying? Hefe was mine. Sure. Where do you resign? I'm from Ohio. From Toledo, Ohio. I'm from the north side. You know what I'm saying? But I put on for my whole city, the whole Toledo, the west side, the north side, east side, area side. You know what I mean? But I'm from the north side, though. Okay. What inspired you to write music? Um, I, I don't really think nothing expi inspired me. It was just, you know what I'm saying? Growing up in a household where music is a real big thing, you know what I mean? And you, you kind of adapt to it because where I'm from, it ain't too many things you can do. You know what I mean? Either you in the streets, you know what I'm saying, selling dope or you writing music, you know what I'm saying, or you doing both, you know what I mean, so it just came about like that. I write music about myself, about my life, about everything I've been through, the good, the bad, the streets, jail, everything, you know what I mean, about my life. Have music ever helped you in life, growing up? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it helped me a lot, for real, for real, because you know what I'm saying, when you do... When you're doing things that keep you busy, you know what I'm saying, to keep you out the streets, to keep you out of trouble, you feel what I'm saying? The music has kept me out of a lot of trouble, you know what I mean? That's why, you know what I'm saying, my granny really wanted me to do this music shit so bad because, you know, she seen that it kept me out of trouble. She seen that it kept me out the way and kept me, you know what I'm saying, doing whatever it is that I was doing positive. So, yeah, music helped me out a lot, a whole lot. What is your story in your music? My story in my music is just... Me telling about a, you know what I'm saying, a young nigga who, you know, grew up in the streets, you know what I'm saying. Mom having three kids, no dad, you know what I mean, and, you know, having to basically depend on your hustle, you know what I mean. Like, if you ain't got no hustle, you ain't, you ain't getting nothing, you ain't doing nothing. You ain't getting no money, you ain't supporting, you ain't, you ain't doing nothing. So it's just me telling my story about myself, about my life, how they were your life. Okay, so if you can describe yourself in one word. What one word would that be? Man, that one word had to be blessed, man. I'm about I'm a blessed young man. I didn't I didn't man. I know by looking at me you probably could tell, but I've been through a lot of shit, boy, a whole lot of shit. So blessed. I'm blessed. At what age have you started writing music? Um, I really started writing music like I was like 13, 14, but I wasn't writing my own music at the time. I was writing for people, you know what I mean? Because oh, when growing up, all my friends did music. I ain't do music. I was in the streets and playing basketball, you know what I mean? But they was on music already, so, you know what I'm saying? I hear little beats and hear little shit. They saying like, no, don't say that, man. Say this. This shit hard. This shit throw. Say this, you know what I mean? And after a while, it was like, you know what I'm saying? It seemed like everybody living out my dream, for real. For I might as well put, put the voice behind the music, for real. Put my voice behind my shit, so... You know what I'm saying? I've been writing for a minute. What kind of music do you listen to now? Listen to all type of music. It ain't just a specific, you know what I'm saying, specific type of music I listen to. I listen to rap, R&B, old school, reggae. I really got into reggae when I got out here, you know what I mean, in Brooklyn. So, you know what I mean? Uh, listen to all type of music for real. You know what I mean? Like I said, I grew up in a household. We was big on music. You know what I'm saying? My mom... Grew up on, you know what I'm saying, playing Mary J, SWV, you know what I mean? Classic, and, classic. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? So I grew up on that shit. Grew up on it, so. Yeah. I like to, I, I want to do some music, songs with a lot of underground artists too, though. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like underground artists are the best ones because I'm an underground artist myself, for one. And, yeah. You know what I mean? They got a little bit more to talk about, too. You know what I'm saying? Once you get to a certain level in the music industry... I feel like your raps become limited. You start when you when you growing up in the struggle, you rapping about the struggle. But once you get to a certain level, for real, for real, it's only so much to talk about. Like my meat coat and my foreign, you know what I mean? My foreign car and you know what I'm saying. So I want to work with with both sides, big artists and underground artists. All right, Hefe. So are you working on anything up and coming? Um. Yeah. Actually, I'm working on a project, man. Uh, this mixtape called Hefe Way of Life, and it's just basically telling. You know what I'm saying? Self-explanatory about my way of life. Like I said, about everything I've been through. The good, the bad, the ups, the downs. From the streets to the jail to everything. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. So, 
It's called Hefe Way of Life. It'll actually be on live mixtapes, datpiff.com. You know what I'm saying? And of course, I'm going to be out in the streets with my shit, promoting myself. You feel me? Because don't nobody else promote your shit better than yourself. So True. it's going to be hot, too. It's going to be a nice project, man. I put a lot into it. So tune in and, you know what I'm saying, wait on the Hefe Way of Life to drop. It'll be out by uh, the middle to towards the end of February. So okay. it's going to be dope. Okay, so will you be able to find you Facebook, Twitter, Instagram? Well, yeah, um, Instagram at uh, cool money underscore hefe. Um, YouTube, cool money hefe, all one word, no spaces. Okay. You know what I'm saying? My Twitter, cool money underscore hefe, too. SoundCloud, cool money hefe, no spaces. Yeah, man. Shout out Unique. Shout out Calico on the cam, man. Studio 100, what up? India was popping. We in this motherfucker, man. Your cafe, my way of life. Hold up, wait a minute. This shit just the beginning. I've been hustling for a minute. In a minute, I'll be winning. Told my mama in 03 that school ain't working, so I'm dealing. Fuck my teacher in the bathroom, catching sales in my classroom. Me and Joe Butler shoot 20, bet 20 in my math from Niggas dressing for gym. I was selling dimes out the locker room. I had to get it early. I was broke, I ain't had shit. Teacher sent the dogs to my locker. Yummy stuff and zips. Pup turned me on to the game, I was with it. I've been broke a million times, I admit it. These niggas rap about this street shit like this street shit is sweet. You get caught in the streets, you gon' get sweet. I mean, swept up. <laughs> Told my mama I was next up. They play with pistols in my sections, keep your vest up. Them north side veterans, they keep their 40s tough. And we ain't aiming at your legs, we aim for chest up. Okay, 